Hey, hey, how would you like to leave this video with three ways to immediately speed up how fast you're able to think using Obsidian? That's the goal. Let's roll. Okay, so what you can see on screen now is my outline for this video. The first thing that we're going to learn how to do is how to scroll horizontally. Maybe you already know, but if you don't know, this is amazing. So to do this, we need to set up a single hotkey called stacked tabs. So what we're going to do is go down to settings and head over to hotkeys. Now over here, we wanna type in stacked or tabs and there it is. Now when you get there, it's going to be blank. So hit the plus icon and I recommend if you're on a Mac, try command S on windows, that would be control S. Let's just give it something. Then we can go back here and hit it. Boom. Now we're in stacked tabs, but how can I possibly type in this right one when the left one is full screen. Well, here's the key. You hold down shift on the keyboard and you scroll with your mouse. Boom. Now I'm over here, I can think in this one, and then I'm over there. And it gets even better because we can open up more notes. And now I can scroll all the way across. What if we opened up even more notes? These are other videos I have on deck. Now we can really scroll and we can see the vertical titles. This is a really fast way of working. It might be overkill sometimes. So when that's the case, what do you do? You hit Command S. When I do that, we go from stacked tabs back to regular tabs. So now they're at the top here. So let's just toggle that back and forth to see how buttery fast it is. Boom, 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 boom. Really nice. So I go stack tabs and I can scroll horizontally but it gets better than that. So let's go back to this outline because stack tabs doesn't just work in Obsidian, it works across all sorts of applications. So for that, I wanna show you my internet browser. And this was an old show I worked on, Coyote. And this was all about tracking visual effects. And what we have are the first four columns frozen, but there's a lot of information here. So how do you, how, what am I going to do? Hit this thing every single time and move over? That's ridiculous. Instead, we hold down shift and we scroll with the mouse wheel and then boom, I can see all this left to right action. Isn't that amazing? And it gets better. You can take this into Airtable. If anyone uses the application Airtable, you can see we have a bunch of emails that have gone out with subject lines, links to the actual articles, and then we can scroll left to right as we need to, to look at more and more data. So as you can tell, this works when you have a lot of information that goes wide. A couple others I wanna show you, and that's going to be Final Cut Pro. All right, so here's a video in Final Cut Pro. And what I want you to notice is that if we zoom in too much, it's hard to see everything. So what I want to do instead, let me make sure there's no volume playing, is hold down shift and start with the scroll wheel. And now it's scrolling through. Okay, one more time, just so we get the clarity of this. It even extends to Finder for Mac here. So you can see I've gone down a series of folders to an old backup of the Ideaverse. I can go further into calendar. I can go to past years. I can go to 2020. I can look at notes there. So this is all just scrolling by holding down shift and scrolling with the mouse wheel, and it allows you to move horizontally. So that is the number one way that you can speed up your work in Obsidian and far beyond it. So if that's new to you, let me know in the comments below. Like this blew my mind when I finally discovered I could do this. Side note, you can't do this in Avid Media Composer, which is what the majority of TV editors use, which is really infuriating because we have this long timeline you would think like, why can't we do this? I still don't know why, but it, you can in most applications. Okay, let's move on. Now, the other thing that's so valuable is to be able to move lines. So you can see I just bolded show and finder. Now, if I wanna move that, I can just use my left-handed shortcuts and move this thing rapidly. This is just so fast. So how did I accomplish that? What did it look like? For that, we're going to open up Obsidian Flight School. This is where we arrive. And I wanna go to the hangar basic training and core maneuvers. Now, if you're interested in Obsidian Flight School, you'll see a link in the description below. Now it's not to set up a custom knowledge management system. It's to get you moving closer to the speed of thought, being able to fly around fast through your notes because that truly makes all the difference. And to get there, we need to be able to do these core maneuvers blazingly fast. It makes things so much easier. So for today, I wanted to actually go into moving lines of text. 
how boring could this be? Well, it's not. It's amazing. It's a huge unlock. So moving lines of text, what does that mean? That means whatever line I'm on, I can start to move it around. This allows us to move our thoughts, to organize on the fly, no friction. It is a true unlock with how quickly we can think and generate insights. So what we do in sitting in flight schools, we can go down to the actual command. We can see what the recommended hotkey is. Maybe it's already set up and then we can just start using it. So let's now use this hotkey, move line down. And I want to show you where you can set it up if it wasn't set up already. You go to settings hotkeys and then again you go over here and you type what would it be move line and then you can see the two now i had to customize the command i recommend command one and command two that's so i can be a left-handed keyboard ninja without having to move my right hand to the keyboard and hit anything over there i can do it all just with my left hand if you're on windows that can be alt one or alt two and you'd get the same result so that should be pretty great when we go back to our note we can again see how fast I can move this around. So I'm just hitting command one, command two. And I can move these things, re-outline, reorder, make sense of my world of ideas at blazingly fast speeds. That is the second way to go faster in Obsidian. And let's finish it out by looking at the third way to move faster, and that's by moving tabs. So here's a great example of that. And hey, if you're getting something out of this, please consider hitting the like button and also hitting subscribe. It is a small thing that makes a huge difference and I would very much appreciate it. Okay, thanks. You just click a tab and you just drag it wherever you want. Let's put it over on the right. So now you have this tab on the right and you have something else on the left. So this is great when you have a big map of content that you're using to kind of orient your thoughts and what you have to do. In this case, I'm at my note called YouTube Publisher. And the whole point of this note is to remind me of those videos that are really close to being filmed and recorded. So you can see I have videos on deck and there's a certain way I pull up this filter. But when I have it open, I also want to maybe peek into a note and start working on it. You can use these dual tabs for all sorts of use cases, but this is a single one. So I can have this one around and then I can work in this one. Um, I'll give you another example. So we are opening up this thing called BookQuest. Now BookQuest is going to initially cover the thesaurus by Peter Marc Roger, but I already had a video about this. So I want to compare the two. So what I'm going to do initially is open up the old one in a new tab, and then I'm going to take the new one and move it to the right. And now you can see what the old one said as I'm working on the new one. Guess what else you can do? Now, this is just the advanced feature, but you can actually throw the whole script in here and I can look at it in line. Now it's a little overkill, so we don't have to go there right now. But as you can see, it's really nice to be able to move tabs around so you can work faster. It's like having two desktop screens and you can move text, you can copy text, you can see the text that you've already worked with. And all this is getting to the ultimate result that you can think faster using Obsidian. I mean, isn't that amazing? Now I'm curious, which of these three ways is the one that you're most excited about? Like, did you know about how to scroll left and right already? please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to dig deeper into how to move fast with text, you totally need to watch my deep dive on outlining like a left-handed keyboard ninja. I hope to see you there. And until next time, stay connected.